In every culture, there are times and seasons that people of that culture observe. And these times and seasons are so important to them that sometimes they celebrate the time or the season. Sometimes they mourn the time or the season. In the Christian way of life, in the Christian culture, there are also times and seasons. And when we observe these times and seasons, we get closer to God and sometimes we get more mature in our spirit walk with God. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga. As usual, the Lord God Almighty, the God of all flesh, has put a word in my mouth to speak to you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. And this morning, as you hear the sound of my voice, my prayer is that Almighty God will lay his hands upon you, open your eyes of understanding, give you the grace and the wisdom to know what God is saying at this season. May you understand what the Spirit of God is saying to the churches. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. You will recall in Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, that the Bible says that as long as the earth remained, seed time and harvest time, heat and cold, and things like that, it said will never cease. There will always be times and seasons. You see, we must understand that in our Christian work with God, one of the things that is demanded of us is to have understanding of the times and seasons. In the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32, the Bible talks about the men of Issachar. It said, the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times and the season and of what Israel ought to do. You see, we must be people who have understanding of the times and seasons and what we need to do. The reason why many Christians fail is that we Christians do not understand the times and season. You see, many people, they they play during harvest. The time they ought to be planting is what the time they are eating their harvest. You see, a man who wants to walk in Christian way of life and wants to observe the Christian culture must be a man of wisdom, a man who or woman. When I say a man, I'm talking about human being. I'm not talking gender here. Anytime you hear me in this broadcast talking about a man, I'm not talking about gender, male or female. I'm talking about humanity. I'm talking about about mankind. You see? So what I'm saying is that any time a man do fail to understand the times and the season, he cannot succeed. Christians fail because we do not understand the times and seasons of our lives. It is part of every culture for people to understand the times and the season. Some people in their culture, they do some festival. In their culture, it's, uh, there are times of mourning, maybe for their maybe for their leader who started that religion, or the leader of that community who has contributed one thing or the other to the development of that community. They set that day aside to do something, maybe to mourn or to celebrate. The same also in the Christian culture and in the Christian way of life. There are times and seasons that we need to observe. That is why some people, you see, we celebrate Christmas. That is why we take Easter and Good Friday, Easter, Sunday and Monday and Good Friday. We take it serious because it's a day we are remembering the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, and that is why sometimes in some churches they celebrate their founder's day, the day the church was founded. These things are important because they are part of the times and seasons which the men of Issachar vision, I mean men of Issachar, had understanding of the season. They know what Israel ought to do. You need to pray for the spirit of wisdom to know what to do. You see, the reason why people fail is not because they don't have the ability to succeed. It is because they don't know what to do. Let me tell you, the problem that kills a man dead 
or makes a man poor and live in abject poverty. That same problem is what came to another man and made that another man to become successful and become the richest man in the world. Some people who are one of the richest people in the world came from the poorest family of this world, but they came from that poor background to turn things around in their own favor. Why? There's only one reason to explain it. They know what to do. They understand the times and seasons of their lives. You see, you cannot say you are walking the Christian way of life and not seek to understand the time and season of your life. Some people, the season of their life to ride a car have not arrived, but they go ahead to buy the car and the car gave them headache and destroyed their destiny. I have seen some ministries whose time was not yet ripe to buy a private jet. They bought private jet and that was what crushed their ministry. We have to understand that we need to know what time and season we are in our life. Sometimes it is not ripe for you to wear the big shoe because your leg have not grown to occupy that big shoe. Think about what I'm saying. There are times and seasons in the Christian way of life. And that is why the Bible says that we should do everything moderately. Everything must be done decently and in order. And that's why the Bible says in the book of First Timothy chapter 6, it said that we should, we should be contented with what we have. Because those who want to be rich, they fall into diverse temptations. They fail. They, they fail in their faith because they want to do what is not their time to get. Some people rush to get a house when it was not time. They don't have the financial and every capacity to have a house at that time, but they want to have it by all means. And so they do wrong things. And that's why the Bible says in that First Timothy chapter 6, I'd like you to read it from verse 1 to 12. That's where it talks about the love of money. He said the love of money is the root of all evil. And people must read that place very clearly and well. He didn't say money is the love. Is, is, he didn't say money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of all evil. He says the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the attitude you have towards money. Your craze towards money. Your desperado move towards money. Your move to want to even do anything to get money. You love money so much that you can kill your father. You can kill your mother. You can kill your wife. You can kill your husband just to get money. That is the love of money. That is the root of all evil. You see? So, but when you understand the times and the seasons of your life, because it's part of our culture as Christians to understand the times and seasons, we must be like the men of Issachar. We must be like the men of Issachar who understands the times and season. What is the time of your life? What is the season? And this is why you must understand that every time, every time of your life have a season. There is a season for everything. Whatever you need, you need the wisdom of God to understand. Is it the season for me to get this? Is it the season? We must pray for the spirit of wisdom. We must pray to walk in the Christian way of life, to know what to do part time. Failure comes to Christians and anybody in this world when they don't know what to do part time. It is not lack of ability. It is not lack of power that makes people to fail. It is lack of understanding of knowing what to do. So I want you to think about what I'm saying this morning. Do you have an understanding of what to do at this moment of time? This is 2020. Do you have an understanding of what to do in the year 2020? Do you have understanding of what to do in the month of February? Have you planned? Do you have an understanding of what to do in the month of March? What is your plan? What is your program? What is your direction? What is your purpose for the year 2020? Do you know what to do? Well, if you don't know what to do, it's not bad. 
And that's why you are hearing this, so that you can be motivated and so that you can rise to go to God and ask God, please God, show me what to do. God, show me what to do. That must be your prayer if you don't know what to do. And when you are asking God to show you what to do, it may not happen in a day. It may not happen in one week. But you need to continue to pray for direction and guidance. God will guide you. God will direct you. I don't know for how long you will pray this prayer, but as long as you continue to pray this prayer, the wisdom and the understanding to know what to do in this season of your life will come to you. And this is where I'm going to stop. Thank you for listening. You are able to hear this in any forum where you are hearing this because of partners. This is brought to you courtesy of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. And so if you love this message and you are on WhatsApp, you want WhatsApp message, you want a direct message every morning on your WhatsApp because I send this also to WhatsApp people. So if you are on WhatsApp and you want it directly, just save this number that I will call with I Prevail. Save this number with I Prevail. The number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. Save that number, go to your WhatsApp, just send me a simple message, say, add me. I will add you, and by the grace of God from tomorrow, you will receive this message directly on your WhatsApp. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. May God bless you, make you big, make you know what to do, give you the spirit of wisdom and understanding in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for listening. If you love these messages and you also want to be a partner with me, WhatsApp that number and say partner. I will tell you how you can remit your partnership offering and God will bless you for doing that. Thank you so much once again. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga of the Prevailing Church of Christ, South Africa, signing out today and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.